Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today let's go ahead and show you how to root the Nexus 5 on a Mac computer. If you guys are actually interested in how to root it on a Windows computer, you can click on the annotation somewhere on the screen of this video. Or I will also provide a link down below in the video description to go ahead and find out how to root it for Windows with also with a video and a step-by-step -step guide as well. So it'll be super easy for both Mac and Windows. Uh, but for this video, it's all about Mac, all about you Mac users guys um, on how to do it for Mac. Um, so it should be uh, very similar to Windows uh, process, but it's a little bit different. So why not make a separate video just in case if you guys are running on Mac. Uh, but here it is. Um, and this Nexus 5 root method will work with any type of uh, uh, Nexus 5. If you if you bought from T-Mobile, from the Play Store, or Sprint, um, it's going to work with it flawlessly. If you're 16 gigs or have a 32 gig model, it's going to work with it, no doubt, no problem whatsoever. Um, you know, so I'm fine. I have a white uh, 16 gig uh, from the Play Store, if you guys are wondering. But I, like I said earlier, it doesn't matter. Uh, one thing before we actually go ahead and dive into this whole root process, I just want you guys to know that um, it will actually wipe your whole phone. Um, it's going to wipe all your contacts, messages, games, app, data, pictures, music, movies. So literally everything is all going to be gone. So make sure you back up all the imp important information to your computer, to the cloud, anywhere except your phone. As everything, everything, every single little thing is going to be deleted from your phone. So make sure you back it up somewhere except your phone. Um, so you're prepared for that. Um, but that's the only precaution you have to take. Um, except that. Let's go and get started. Uh, so the first step is to go ahead and power off your phone. So just power it off very quickly because it's a Snapdragon 800, baby. Ooh. <laughs> there we go. It's already powered off. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and enter into bootloader mode. So we're going to press the volume up, volume down, and probably all at the same time. And once you feel a vibration, let go of the power. So vibration, let go of the power. And now you should be at this screen. You'll see a green start, Android robot right there. And go ahead and plug in your phone via mic USB. And let's go ahead and head over to our Mac computer and finish up the process. All right, so as you can see on the screen right here, we have a folder called Root Nexus 5. Of course, you can go and grab this file in the video description down below. Uh, just so click on the one link in the video description down below, and you can go and download this uh, folder right here. It's going to be in zip file, so just go and right click on it, unzip it, then you'll get it. This in a folder, so it's Root Nexus 5 um, down below. Uh, very easy, and everything's located inside this one folder, so you don't have to download separate uh, files and all that. Um, so everything that you need is here. So you got uh, custom recovery, uh, super SCU, and then you got your uh, fast boot and ADB um, commands too. So that's awesome. All in one package. Super easy to do. Uh, so there it is. Um, so first thing we need to do is go ahead and open up terminals. So you can just search in the little start bar up in the corner of your Mac. Um, so here's mine. Here's terminal. And first thing we're doing is, oh, actually one other thing before we actually go and open up terminal is make sure root Nexus 5 is on your desktop. If it's not on your desktop, you're going to run into problems uh, the way I do it. Um, so just make sure the folder, the unzip folder is on your Mac OS X uh, desktop to make it a lot easier, guys. Um, so just leave it on your desktop. Then you can go ahead and open up terminal. And <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and type in CD desktop, CD desktop, enter. Then cd root root nexus 5, that's the folder we want, enter. And then we're going to go ahead and type in dot slash fastboot dash mac space oem unlock. And I just want to show you one thing before I go ahead and press enter. I want to see, I want to show you what happens on the phone screen. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and press enter. Enter and boom, as you can see, uh, this Nexus 5 screen did change. Uh, so let me go ahead and probably dim that. Hopefully, it helps. Um, so it's asking if you want to unlock the bootloader. Of course, we want to. So press the volume up and it says yes. Then press the power button to select it. And now it says erasing right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, uh, but right here it does say erasing right there. And you can see lock state. It does say locked now. So it's done. And erasing did go away now. So everything's wiped off of your phone. So that's why you need to back up your data. Uh, so that's awesome now. Uh, so since everything's unlocked and everything's wiped, go ahead and press the power button to start it up. And just let it boot up. And this boot up will take about two to three minutes just because it just did a factory reset. Uh, so it will take a little bit of time. Just be patient. And of course, you will get this Android guy too. <laughs> so you can stare at him for a little while. Um, him moving his little antenna right there. Um, so it'll take about two to five minutes uh, at max. Um, so I'll be back once I'm booting up. All right, so about three minutes later, it fully booted up my Nexus 5 right here. So I'm going to go ahead and skip everything. You can actually go ahead and set up all your Wi-Fi and all that. So go and put in all your passwords for your Google account, your Wi-Fi and all that. I'm just going to skip it just for the sake of this video. Uh, it's going to skip all of this stuff. And um, let's go and skip all that too. Um, so we're almost done. We're about uh, 
50%, even more than 50% done. Um, just a little bit more, and it won't be too much longer until your phone is rooted, install custom RAMs and all that. Okay, so as you can see, even though we unlocked the bootloader, everything is fully functional and you're still fine. Um, looks exactly the same, just everything is wiped like I warned you earlier in the beginning of this video. Um, now let's go ahead and transfer SuperSU. So first, make sure your phone is turned on, of course. And, and second, make sure it's plugged into your Mac computer. And now let's go ahead and go back to our computer and finish the rest of this root process. All right, so as you can see in the folder, root nexus 5 folder that you downloaded earlier, uh, you have a file called update-supersu-version 1.65 zip file. Uh, we need to get this file onto our Nexus 5 device. Now, if you can have, you have two options. You can go and upload this to your email, then download it directly to your Nexus 5. Or second option, which I do recommend and prefer, is go ahead and download Android File Transfer Program, install it on your Mac computer, and you can use that program to actually go ahead and transfer files uh, back and forth between your Android device and your Mac computer. Um, I already have it installed. I'll actually link it down below for the actual program. I'm going to go and open it up right now, Android File Transfer. And as you can see, that it is opening up right there. Uh, so this is the actual program. As you can see, it automatically recognized my Nexus 5. It's called Android File Transfer. I'll link it down, down below in the video description. And let's go ahead and copy and paste the SuperSU into our... Um, into our uh, folder right here. So we're just going to go ahead and copy it and then just paste it right into here. Okay, looks like you can't paste it, so we'll just drag and drop it. So just drag it and drop it into here. Um, there's no need to put it in any folder, just put it in the general directory right here. So as you can see, um, now you can go and close it out. Okay, so after we finish transferring that super SU file right there, as you can see right in the background, um, now we need to enter it back into bootloader mode. So go and unplug your phone right there and then power it off again. So powered off, and it'll take only take a few seconds. And once it's done being powered off, once again we're going to press the volume up, volume down, and power button at the same time. When you feel a vibration, let go of the power. So all three, vibration, let go power, and oh, you'll be at this start screen again. So you'll you'll see this green start screen. Now plug in your phone back into uh into your phone and to your computer via mic USB, just like that. So it's plugged in and into bootloader mode. And now let's go ahead and head back to our computer and finish it up. Okay, so back in terminal, you should still be in the directory of root nexus 5. If you're not, if you actually you closed out terminal, just go ahead and type in the commands again, back all the way to root nexus 5. And once you're here, we're going to go ahead and type in dot slash fast boot dash max space flash space recovery space open and just press tab and it'll automatically fill in the rest for you. So it should look just like this. Um, if you guys can't see it for whatever reason, I'll have a step-by-step -step guide. I'll link down below with everything else that's linked in the video description uh, for the step-by-step -step guide, written step-by-step -step guide more specifically right there. And let's go ahead and press enter. And now it's going to be flashing TWRP recovery on your Nexus 5 device. So it still looks like this. And once it's done, it says finished whole time, 1.42 seconds. Now we're done with our computer and let's go and finish it up by entering into recovery mode. Okay, so now you can go ahead and unplug your phone via micro USB. And then press the volume up twice, volume up, not the power button, volume up twice until you see recovery mode. And then go ahead and press power button. And this is going to automatically enter into the TWRP recovery mode uh, right here. So just go to a few seconds and boom, team win right here. And um, sometimes you might be at, it might ask you to uh, put in a password to go any further. Just tap on cancel and you'll be fine. Um, I haven't been running into that issue anymore, but I did when I first flashed TWRP on my Nexus 5. It uh, doesn't look like that. Looks like that problem just went away. But if you get a password, just tap on cancel. You'll be good to go. Um, from here, just go ahead and tap on install. Scroll all the way down until you see that super s use the file that we transferred earlier. Go and tap on it, and then slide your finger left to right, and it's automatically going to install that super s use the file, all the apps that we need. Uh, now, once it's done, go and select reboot system now, and it's going to reboot your phone in about eight seconds. You'll be good to go, and you'll be rooted. Um, so I'm just gonna give this a few seconds to boot up, and then I'll show you the rest of. The, I'll show you that we're rooted. Okay, so my Nexus 5 just booted up with that Super SU installed, and I want to show you that new app that we just got. So now we have Super SU. So that was good. That means it's a success. Now I'm gonna go ahead and log into my log into my Google Play account and show you a root app, Titanium Backup, and let's see if we do get Super SU request. Okay, so I tried installing Titanium Backup, but it looks like the servers are messed up with a Titanium Backup uh, app. So instead, I went ahead and installed Root Checker. So let's go and open it up right here. And it's a free app if you want to try it out on your phone too. Um, let's go and agree with that. And okay, 
Let's tap OK. And let's go ahead and tap on Verify Root Access. Boom. And now it asks you, yep, it's all good to go. So super uh, user request. We're going to go and grant that. And boom, as it says, congratulations, this device has root access. So now you can go ahead and root, use root apps, install custom ROMs, mods, tweaks, the whole nine yards. You can go do this on your Nexus 5 device. Super easy to do. Not very lengthy process at all for the Mac computer. Um, Every, like I mentioned earlier, everything that you need, all the files, links, guides, um, written step-by-step -step guide too, is in the video description down below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to like, subscribe guys in the bottom left-hand corner right there. Only two clicks away to really make my day. I really do appreciate all the support you guys do give me. And of course, I will have more content for the Nexus 5. Much, much more content for the Nexus 5. ROM reviews, more ruining guys, tips, maybe Wi-Fi tether. All tons of guides just for the Nexus 5 guys. So be sure to stay tuned and subscribe guys. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. Those are also three excellent ways to get in contact with me if you have any problems rooting your Nexus 5. Or if you just have a question, maybe, uh, you know, why should I root? Um, what's a good round for the Nexus 5? Or anything like that, be sure to hit me up on those three social networks. I'll catch you later, guys. Peace.